This is why their leaders today, they know that they must serve the people. We are the stupid ones. We are the lazy ones. We are the divided ones. So many people out there think that Chinese people live under some form of oppression and that simply is not true. So let me try to give you some kind of perspective to try to explain why this is not so. Now, if you can find a flaw in the arguments that I'm presenting here today, I want you to challenge me. Leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have as long as they are polite questions. Now, of course, this all begins with a very simple premise. Either I am lying or I'm telling the truth. It doesn't really matter in that case if I'm paid or not, right? Because I find it amazing how many people assume or, or just accuse me of being paid by the Chinese government. So unless you can prove that I'm lying, it doesn't make any difference whether I'm paid or not. And for the record, I'm not. Yeah. All right. So the fact is that most people out there have already been so badly misinformed about China that they think that China is evil and, and that they hate the place and they hate the people. But they cover this hatred with platitudes such as I like the place, and I like the people, but I hate the government. And the thing is that unlike me, they have never asked a single person here in China who lives in China what they think. And the interesting thing is that everyone who does, they suddenly slowly start to turn around. The great thing about this new visa, free travel, uh, is that anybody can come to China. Anyone in the world can land in Guangzhou and start a 144-hour trip. It's a full six days that you get to have a look around and, and ask people questions if you want to. Now, a few years ago, that would have been very difficult to do, but now it's, it's really very easy. All we got to do is just, we can talk to our phones or write things on our phones and it's going to be translated and people will understand what we want or what we need in whatever language we choose. So there's really no excuse not to do it. Just in 2021, I was in the Tibetan Plateau. And last year, I was in Xinjiang for five months. And it was there that I learned that the Tibetan language and the Uyghur language have already been added to Chinese translation. So you can translate to and from on WeChat itself, among other languages and many other things you can do on WeChat, of course. So I feel that there is really absolutely no excuse not to come to China to visit. At first, when you come here, you'll find that people are a little shy, a little reserved. They might not necessarily answer right away your questions. So maybe you think that people won't answer you honestly how they feel or that they might say that they like the CPC when you expected them to say that they don't. But then there's something that you really need to, to know and to understand. These Chinese people, when asked about this, whether they like the CPC or not, they're not saying that they like it because they are afraid to offend their government. They're actually saying it because they are afraid to offend you, the, 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 the visitor. And I know it's a little bit confusing, but let me explain to you what I mean. It is us, the English speakers or the Spanish speakers, who call it the CPC or the CCP. They, the Chinese, they haven't got a clue what you're talking about when you say that. So they're just being nice and they're being agreeable to you. But once they realize that you're asking them about the, the Zhongguo, Gongchangdang, then they will be very happy to answer any questions that you have about that. But otherwise they won't understand you. I'm sure they will also be happy to criticize the party if there is a reason for that. But only then you will start to realize that something has been lied to you for a very long time. I really, I really challenge you to try it when you come to China. But if, on the other hand, you're the kind of person that says, well, look, I'm not coming to China. Never, ever will I ever. Then it is clear to me that you are not the kind of person who loves the country. And you're not the kind of person who loves the people. And it is clear that you are lying about that. And the people who read your comments under my videos will know who you are. They will know what kind of person you really are. 
So just think about that for a moment. Now you can visit. There are almost 40 countries that can come here for 15 days without a visa. Every country in the world can visit China for 144 hours visa-free. So this is your chance to prove that you love the country, prove that you love the people. Because if you are getting your information from Chinese people in your hometown, in your own country, there might be a reason why they are in your home country and not in China, where 1.4 billion people still prosper, still live and are happy. There might be other reasons why people say they don't want to come to China. Maybe you can't afford it or maybe you don't have a job. Or maybe you have a job and you can afford it, but your company will not give you the time to do that. All these are pretty good reasons, pretty reasonable reasons not to come. But if you look at this from a different perspective, then consider that there's hundreds of millions of Chinese people that are taking international holidays every year. But it is you who cannot afford it. It is you who cannot get away. So perhaps think again, who is it that has the oppressive system? Who is it that has the oppressive government? Think about that. China has the largest number of middle-class families in the world, the largest number of overseas tourists from a single country of origin. And they all leave and they all come back to their jobs, to their homes and their families. In the year 2019, 139 million Chinese left China freely. Guess what? Zero defectors, 139 million Chinese, right? That's twice the population of the UK, <laughs> went back to China. And then because 27,000 of these 1.4 billion Chinese people chose to leave the country by an illegal method and chose to enter another country illegally, when they could have easily just applied for a visa and traveled to the U.S. for a lot less money by just taking a direct flight. You feel free to judge their country? I don't see the logic in that. Because, yeah, the cost of flying visa-free, of course, from China to Venezuela and then paying for an illegal transit from there to the southern border of the U.S. is much more than the cost of a direct flight to the USA. So why do you think they're doing it? They're not doing it because they love China and they're hoping to undermine the USA when they get there. <laughs> if China wanted to flood the US with illegal immigrants of military age, as Fox News lets to say, right? Then for sure, they would not be sending these people through an illegal pathway where some of them are getting killed, where some of them are getting robbed, and funny enough, where some of them are being repatriated. Yes, you heard that right. They're being repatriated on flights with China and USA have agreed to send in a swap arrangement. Something else that you didn't hear about in the media, right? When these illegal Chinese are caught, then they're sent back to China by plane. Now, if you think that the Chinese government is so stupid, then I got a bridge to sell you. <laughs> These people are entering the United States illegally because they're running from something. I think that statistically speaking, almost every person on the east coast of China could afford to get out of China. So if the Chinese people hated their government as much as you suggest they do, China would be, and it easily could be empty by now. But it isn't. Now, if you were to give history a try, <laughs> you would probably learn what the Chinese did in 1911 to a government that they didn't like. 
And then they went ahead and they did it again in 1949 to another government that they didn't like. So perhaps then you will start to realize, you'll start to understand that the Chinese government is actually delivering for the Chinese people. But then if you're a racist, you're going to have another theory to explain that, right? You're going to say, oh, the CCP only delivers because they want to retain the popularity. Duh. <laughs> you finally started to realize what a government is supposed to do. In our countries, our Western countries, when politicians promise to do things at every election, like Kamala Harris is doing these days. When I'm in office, you are in office, lady. <laughs> so when these politicians keep on promising things every four years, and each time they let us down, and yet we continue to defend the system as great, we keep giving them the power to perpetuate that system and to treat us the way that they do. We are the stupid ones. We are the lazy ones. The Chinese are not like us. In 1911, they revolted against the government that they did not like. In 1949, they did it again. They revolted against the government that they did not like. This is why their leaders today, they know that they must serve the people. We are the stupid ones. We are the lazy ones. We are the divided ones. So only then, when you start to understand this, you get it. This is why the CPC works so hard to meet the needs of the vast majority of people here in the country. This is why they have given themselves a mandate to serve the people who put them in power. And this is why they continue to have the popularity of the people. Now, in the last 120 years, Chinese governments have discovered that Chinese people don't take kindly to oppression. But more importantly, they have understood that the US, the UK, and the European governments, they're not going to give Chinese what they want. Unless what they want is drugs. And let's be honest, if a Chinese person wants to do drugs, perhaps the best path he could take is fly to Venezuela, go there through that air and gap, and enter the U.S. illegally, because that's the place where most of the world's illegal drugs are being used. Is it not? So this is what I'm hoping to leave you with in this video. Please stop thinking of Chinese people as mindless and brainwashed individuals but start seeing them as the intelligent, diligent, and hardworking people that they really are. And start planning your trip to come see China. Come and meet these people. Ask them questions. Open your mind. Or, alternatively then, keep on living with your ignorance as this country overtakes the rest of the world. All right, guys. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, if you like this video, Give it a thumbs up and if you like the content of my channel consider subscribing and well leave a comment leave your questions share and until i see you again take it easy bye for now